hi friends today we are discussing about how to use the concurrent group in order to hit 10 or 50 or 100 or 1000 concurrent users in particular website here i considering the login action before that if you like my video please like and subscribe my channel we can grow together so we can start first of all you need to download the plugin uncrunted group for that go to the url i will give it in description and download the latest version here i downloaded 2.10 and i already downloaded it and please unzip that download file then it's like it's a lib folder in that we need to copy this one control c copy and paste it it's under the our jmeter folder under lib paste so we have pasted here and then again back to the download folder and go to open the ext folder we need to copy this both the the files copy this one and paste it into the ext folder under the lib you can see ext just paste so we have pasted the operations are completed then we can now you can see there is no option for the concurrent group i will relaunch again close and open then you can see the option so i close it now and again open that jmeter go to the bin and again restart the jmeter then you can see the thread group of concurrency thread group now because we are installed or the copy paste the jar files over there so we can check it over now is it open we can check that one it's opened so go to the group yes you can see the concurrency that group is there okay then the next step now we are covered up to four steps that means that means we installing the concurrent group so the next step is we need to record and capture a login scenario and here i already recorded a scenario using http test recorder uh, you can check it on my other video i will add that in description here i mentioned how to capture or record a a publication using HTTP test recorder so uh, right now I just opened the project and the next next step is need to add the concurrency thread group for that right click on the span and thread group and select the concurrency thread group okay. then we can add a simple controller by right clicking the thread group add Ensembler, sorry, logic controller and simple controller. This is for just a container. We have placed the all the request under the simple controller. Okay, so we can go into the record test recorder requests. First, we launch the site. So copy the launch request on the web application page and paste it over here. Okay, then coming to the login page navigation, we need this request copy and paste it over here. That means the simple controller. And next, we need the login submit form that is with the username and valid password. So, this is post request, and we need this one copy and paste it over here. And uh, the final one, the dashboard. By login, we navigate into dashboard. So copy this one and paste it over here. So we, with the record request, are we copied? 
so we can we can modify the name if required launch or login page login page and uh, submit and the login submit the dash this is the dashboard right so we can change to dashboard okay then we need to assert right is working or not so what type of assertion we can add type button on so request add and assert response assertion we can go to the application and check here what we can say okay here by going to the dashboard this is the this is the home page right this is the landing page so here we can see a login button so we can set with the login so for that add enter the label as login okay after login we navigate to click on login page here we can username can be used as okay checking label asset for a session so for login page clicking on right button and assertion response session i will add user okay so session for adding verification after login we get the dashboard right so here we can add another session after login we can we get it dashboard right so in that we can check what there is the unique value is there for verification right the logout the logout button is there so we can assert with the logout logout label logout so with the session part is completed then for the debugging purpose i am going to add one listener Right bit on third group and try to add listener view result tree. Okay, and I will for the I will for the testing purpose I will give one user. Okay, user and what are this a zero I giving and change to second mode. Okay, seconds mode by default in minutes mode. So the time unit I change it to seconds. Okay, just we can check the result is running or not. Yes, our script is working, and here are all are passed. Okay, coming to the how to we can handle the concurrency third group. The based on the requirement, suppose you have the scenario. 100 users okay 100 users concurrently hitting on the application so we we given the target concurrency as 100 that means 100 users you can give a graph 100 user hitting and suppose we need to hold it for 10 seconds so hold target right time in 10 seconds so 100 users hitting on hitting on the site each each second each each one second 100 users hitting and hold it for 10 seconds okay if you need for one minute we can give 60 seconds so the 100 users will hitting for one minute each second 100 it hold for one minute right suppose we need steps suppose i give a step of Two. step of two and ramp of time of 30 that means it will split that means total 100 user and step count is two so it's first 100 divided by two that means 50 users at a time and this is order for 30 seconds 30 by 2 that means 15 seconds it will hold remaining 15 seconds it will with the full load 100 and after that for 60 seconds it will hold for hold for the full load that means 100 likely we can 
and uh, the values based on your scenarios okay. and one more thing i need to add that is if you run with the high load condition that means if you run with the hundred or thousand then you need to disable the euro sub tree and need to add another type of listener called summary or aggregate this will consume very less memory for cpu utilization compared to view result tree the view result tree you can use when you try to debugging debugging the test with the one new thread user okay when you try with the thousand or five hundred something like that <coughs> then you can use summary or aggregate report okay i will just run with one new user for the testing purpose okay and you can look how the report looks like here is the each page result is showing in the report launch login submit page and the dashboard here you can see the the percentage is error because i running in octopus that's why it's getting error okay so this is all about in today's section and currently you can use it for and currently applying the load in traditional thread group it's applying parallelly but in concurrent we can apply each second concurrently so i hope this section is useful for all of you guys if you any doubt please comment it over it like my section please like and subscribe and we can grow together thank you and happy learning